I'd say my life has changed pretty drastically from doing the internship. I think I look a lot more like Jesus. Um, I think I've had a lot of opportunities to serve and to come to the end of myself. And yeah, I have a passion for, for kids and I have vision for the future um, in various different ministries. I'm in a place in my life I never thought I would be um, actually having vision for things that I want to do, even outside of ministry, like, you know, planning and scheduling and um, just dreaming big for my life. And so, you know, the internship has really shown me not just ministry skills, but also like adulting skills, um, you know, how to, how to keep a schedule, like I mentioned, <clears throat> you know, how to say no to things, how to make sure that I'm taking a Sabbath and I'm getting proper rest. Um, and all around, I would say I'm a, just a much more healthier, well-rounded adult because of it. My relationship with Jesus has been absolutely radically transformed by doing the internship. Um, <clears throat> I know how I hear God's voice now, and I know how to identify that very clearly, even in the midst of tons of other distractions and tons of other things going on in my life, through all of my busy days, I can hear and distinguish the still small voice from every other voice in my head, and I know exactly what Jesus is saying to me, um, way more so than I did beforehand. I mean, we spend a lot more time together now doing the internship. You will get to spend a lot of time with Jesus, and it's, it's so sweet and so special. Um, I would say I really I have a much higher value on my personal time with Jesus um, from doing the internship, just learning that it's very important to make time throughout my day and that that should be something that is more important than everything else. And on the days that I don't make spending time with Jesus more important, I've learned that those days aren't as good as days where I get up 30, 45 minutes early um, and just bite the bullet, you know, and be tired all day long. You know, those days are so much more full and so much more fruitful. Um, and the internship showed me that you, there's a lot more, like I'm capable of a lot more than I thought I was, and that has been applied to my pursuit of Jesus, you know, that I can go a lot deeper with him and that I can get more time with him. Even, even if I have a day that, that starts at 6 a.m. and doesn't stop until 10 p.m. and I feel like I have no time at all, there is still time in that day. Even going from one event to another, there's time to be with Jesus and he meets me there. And I've learned that, and so now I've just learned to spend all my time with Jesus in a sense. I would say do it. If you feel at all like you're called into this, just do it. Um, nine months seems like a long time. And I'll tell you right now, it's the perfect amount of time. It's in the sweet spot where you think you can't do anymore and you also know that <clears throat> you can. <laughs> um, yeah, it, do this if you really want to look like Jesus. I mean, if you seriously want your life to be radically transformed and to look more like Jesus and get to see some of the things that he did on earth when he was here in your own life, you know, and you want to learn how to pray and learn how to tap into the Holy Spirit. And I mean, if you really want your life to look like the gospel, I would say do it because I don't think there's a way for you to do this and stick it out for nine months and not have that happen for you. So if that's you, 100% do this. Um, and the nine-month time commitment, it's worth it. So whatever, God will meet you in, in that. So if you are feeling like you have too much other stuff going on or too many other commitments, but you still feel like Jesus might be calling you to do something radical and a little bit crazy that makes you look like him, that forces you to rely on him, I would say just step out in faith, say yes to this, and watch how God moves everything else in your life such that you have the time to do this. That's happened for a lot of us. So I know it can happen for you.